This is my 1970 Mustang. I call him Rusty. Tell me a little bit about where you found this Mustang. Well, I found this Mustang uh, a year and a half ago uh, in Fort Myers. It was uh, in a jar, all roasted out. I found it the condition that nobody would take it. Uh, it was like super roasted out. I, I changed the front clips, towers, uh, the whole front of the car, firewall, floors. Um, it was like gone. That it was it, it was really bad. It was kind of like a Swiss cheese car. Still uh -huh. on the outside, uh, but I like the characteristic of the car. Um, it's been like this for the past 30 years that it's been sitting, and I think it looks pretty cool. I just wanted to be reliable, enjoy the car, and not to become a full three-year project, you know? How, how, how was it that you were able to do all this work? Did you take it somewhere? Well, no, I did everything myself on my garage at home. Um, they said, why buying it if you can build it, right? Right. So um, I'm a YouTube mechanic. I learned on YouTube how to weld and I've been practicing and always playing with cars. So um, I did everything myself. I don't think anybody's going to put the love you can put yourself in your car. So. Right. I bet. I bet. So and, and that's the reason you're able to do this kind of work. Well, yeah, it will not be worth it to rebuild a car. That's why a lot of people they just let them see it and rust it out because you're in uh, Florida. Though. The labor is super expensive, so it, it costs more than the car. Why a Mustang? Uh, I always had a thing for Mustangs. It's my favorite car. I love all the, the years. I had um, all of them already. I had 66, a 67, a 68, a 69, a 70. Um, I had a 69, but it never run. I never finished it, so I couldn't use it. And uh, I always have a thing of, of the 70 because nobody has it. Um, I think it's one of the unique gears with a different front clip and different grill, different lights and everything. So um, I really like 70s. Except me. Yeah, except I got the except 70. You, yeah, you got the 70. <laughs> now we both have 70s. We were 70. the first one. Exactly. So tell me uh, what, what, what engine did it have and what did you put in it or what did you do? Well, the guy I bought it from, uh, he built uh, a 302 with cam, heads, everything. Um, when I did the front clip and the floors and everything on the car, and um, I add that engine on the car, I start using it, and the guy that built the engine didn't build it right. So I have to take the engine out of the car and put another engine from a friend. So it still has a 302. Uh, it doesn't have a cam, it's a stock 302. But at least, you know, I was desperate to use the car and go to the show carts. And you made me a bet that I couldn't swap the engine in two days. And you did. And I did. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. So what is your goal for your engine next? Well, next, I would love to put a Coyote. Um, I wanted to use it as a daily, and I think with a newer engine, new school, mixed with old school, will be, I think, more reliable. And uh, it will be more fun than a regular 302. I think I will spend the same money on building a 302 or a 351 than doing the Coyote swap. And what kind of transmission do you have in this now? Uh, right now it has a 1993 T5 that I put on the car. Um, I bought it for an Echo Boost swap that I was going to do on my 68 Mustang. So I had it uh, laying around and I didn't want to do it automatic. So I put the T5. First thing I did is like, I took fenders off, hood off and I chopped the whole front, uh, I took the firewall, the whole floor, and I started building it from the ground. I put the floor, I changed the pillars, I changed the torque boxes, and then I started putting the front clip. I did the whole front clip, um, I painted gray, um, like race cars, like uh, they used to do back in the day, so you can see all the oil leaks, everything. Um, I know it's... Uh, something that purists don't do but um, I found it kind of fun and different uh, and I really like the color and I think it really pops with the green when you open the hood mm -hmm. and um, I painted all of my garage so I did um, rustoleum gray it's called uh, monkey gray and um, I did the floors with pour 15 mm. in the garage also um, talk to me about um, you hid the wires 
the I saw yes, that you hit um, a... I hired I hide all the wires. I did everything on the side of the fender on top. And talk to me now about the suspension that you put into this thing. It's kind of like a Frankenstein. I have a little bit of everything. Mm. Um, I went with Global West, uh, biking coilovers, and uh, Swiver is a hot chick. So I make kind of like a mix of everything. Gotcha. And it runs nice and tight? Yes, nice and tight. The rims? Well, I went with a local company from California. Um, they call Rebel Wheels. I found it kind of cool to do kind of like modern rims. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh wow, they look nice with a green and bronze color. Just regular, I have um, 18 by nine and a half on the back with 275s, uh, Falcon Ascentis. And I have in the front um, 18 by eight with 245s. Talk to me about your interior, because I saw the pictures and that interior was a disaster. What well, did you do? Yeah, the car came with all the interior that it was laying around inside a storage. And um, so I kind of painted and uh, I just bought the dash pad and um, I kind of like put everything together. So I was trying to do it in budget and not break the bank because I was expending a lot of money on uh, sheet metal and the paint and suspension and everything so the, in, the interior kind of looks like stock i used um, everything from the car that it came with so i have the cluster and the original seats i went with the exhaust i love black widow i know it's kind of like noisy but i think it gives a rumble to the car that you know it's like i have a stock engine and it feels like the car it's built to go to the racetrack you know it's a uh, it's a really good sauce i went with two and a half why do well, you call it rusty well, I call it rusty because it has rust on every panel. Uh, you can see here on the bottom of the fenders, it has the typical rust uh, doors, the quarter panel here, right here. Um, on top, it looks kind of like not too rusty, but it still has the typical rust under the windows. Um, I used to have the spoiler, but it's a regular GT, so I took it off because I'm not trying to build a Mac 1. Um, the roof king, as you can see, it's kind of rusted too. Honestly, it's rusted in every panel. But that's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine with me, you know, like I, I, I love the car. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't mind about the rust. I think it makes it lighter, <laughs> some of my friends said. So it gives character. The car looks good. Um, maybe um, I will be fixing it. To, to restore the whole car and not let it, you know, because time with time it's going to rust it out and it's not going to be too nice. Now it looks nice because the paint kind of kind of shines and everything because I waxed it. But um, I think it's... It gives a character. It gives a character. And, That's why and... I call him Rusty. And the most important thing, obviously, is the rust on frame rails and stuff, and that's what you took yes, care of. Yes, I, I took care of the base of the car, so like the structure it's super strong right like i'm not gonna have a problem with it that that's why i fix it before you know some people they try to buy the car the way it is and just put the engine and make it run but i wanted to have i didn't want to work twice so i did the whole frame of the car and mm -hmm. then i left it the way it was so i couldn't like drive it and enjoy the car and you know because you start losing interest once you do it for years like if i do the car and i start investing money for three years, it you know you you lose the, the love for the car. Are you so, are you talking about Patricio's car? <laughs> I'm talking about Patricio's and uh, some other people some, that I know on the in group, our Mustang you know? group, yes, right? In the Mustang group. All right, so let's check out that engine bay. Yes, it's still a work in progress, but um, it looks pretty nice. I have to change the spark plug cables because the ones I had, I put four racings and they they didn't work well with the spark plugs I have, so. Looks beautiful, nice and clean. It's a nice gray. Um, I went with wheel boot brakes. So I have um, a six piston set on, on front because I wanted it to go big with the engine, but then I couldn't, so. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about. The engine wise, yes. Radiator? The radiator, I went with uh, a typical aluminum radiator. I painted black. Uh, myself and I put two big fans um, to make it cool so it doesn't go more than 200 on traffic 
It has the perfect temp. And especially in Miami weather, right? Yes. Five and everything. Oh, pop. Police. How are you? Everything yeah. good? We're just making a video. You're doing a YouTube video. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, buddy. No problem. Appreciate you. Nice car. Thanks. Thank you. There we go. You see? Even the police Even like the our police car. Even the police like the 70 era. Hey guys, so now you met Zeke and his 1970 Mustang. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please share, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, take care.